Thunder blows online TV. Thunder blows online. Channels and Gaho did a contract, was given a contract of 65 billion naira. They have not completed the contract. They were fed 50 billion. I want the Commissioner of Finance, Commissioner of Local Government and Chintensi. The two Commissioner of Local Government and Chintensi, Rankan Degamji and Mutak Arini, to come and depend the big money paid to China Zangao for rough construction in the Jack account. Boho drilling for 55 billion. They should go and depend it. Only the electrification project given to Alliance Trade Trading Company owned by Abba Alelu, a junior royal brand of Alelu, the former government of Kilo State, and now a Saudi minister, they should go and uh, Saudi senator, they should go and depend it. And also, they should go and depend the report, entering report given by Al Salah the panel, where they have indicted channels and Gao of paying about 570 million to a proxy to be given to Ibrahim Mahmoud, the former EFCC chairman. Why are they bribing Mahu if they don't have skeleton? In the cupboard. Why? And this channel is a girl who brought them, please, and ask him, is it not the government that was his daddy? Why? I challenge the Commissioner of Police to come and defend the speakers. Commissioner of Finance. And the Permanent Secretary of the Ministry of Finance, some treasurer and accountant general, and the Director of Central Account to come and defend the speakers. I call on the Commissioner of Finance to retrace his steps. Because when the winds blow, we shall see the honors of the hand. It is Kaya Buga. So, yeah, Tara. The money which the, the present commissioner of police, commissioner of finance, claimed that is missing is true. 37.4 billion naira was paid as a promissory note to a debt management office. The present governor, without knowing that money were paid, he wrote to Minister of Works, Power and Housing, that is the former governor of Lagos State, Mr. Raji Pashola. Tunde Pashola. And Tunde Pashola replied to him June 2020 that the money were paid to the last administration on 23 
on 24th May 2019. The day Supreme Court nullified the election of APC for non conduct of primaries in line with the section 87, subsection 1, 2, 3, 5 of the Electoral Act 2010 as amended. If the EFCC has felt that two corruption cannot be otherwise, why can't you go by simply of Commission of Inquiry? Sami Ali has done it, he investigated Mahmouda, and a lot of reforms were made. Now, EFCC are not willing, ICPC are not willing, that two corruption for the state cannot do. You have said it in the last briefing that soon as we are told we in the Great Commission of Inquiry. Yes. When will that come? So that all this ledger and those are obedience. These people show us who have seen during Abdul Aziz how a lot of them appeared, testified, and a lot of recoveries were made. You have an option to EFCC and ICBC. Set commission of inquiry, a great job for all of us. Then you will go to the commission. They have, have constituted a judicial commission of inquiry to treat about four issues. One, Report of the Zamprastel Committee for Pandem Resolution to Ambanditri. Two, Report of Local Government Project Verification Committee. Three, Report of Ahmed Zabrawa, Zabrama State Project Verification Committee. Four, to investigate Technical Committee of Transition Committee. The special advisor to the governor on legal matter, Barrister Aminu Jele Bukawa. He's the one who will very soon invite them and they will be inaugurated by the governor. But because of the COVID 19, that is why all the action was stayed. But we are going to call on the governor as a matter of urgency, to observe the presidential directives, protocol directives of COVID-19 and convey the judicial commission of inquiry. So that all these noisemakers will start going into hiding or they will go to prison. And on the issue of that anti-corruption, no, I have a firm belief that if the governor straightened the anti-corruption law in the first state, it will still work. Because the Kano State Government have done that and it's still working. What I'm saying is for the Governor to direct Antonio General to draft a bill to amend the anti corruption law by empowering them legally to have power to investigate, prosecute, and now have power to go to court, either magistrate court or higher court, to go and seek a warrant of arrest or warrant of uh, such warrant for them to arrest and prosecute the state treasury looters or any other person ever individuals or group of individuals or private companies or corporate bodies that commit economic and financial crimes of state should face the full law of law and order as directed by the amended anti-corruption law of the state John Blows online TV.
Tonda blows online TV. Tonda.